great. Should well, we let's get it? started. What do we start with, Chef? Well, hot pan. Always a hot pan. A little bit of olive oil. Now you could use coconut. Um, coconut oil. oil. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It seems to be the big rage. Does have a higher smoke point? I get confused. I'll, I'll it does. Point, higher smoke point, um, as opposed to olive oil that you don't want to burn all the, you know, the goodness and the flavor in the in the oil itself. I'm going to ask everybody. Uh, there we go. Uh, you want to have your curry right now? That, thank you. How did that happen? I haven't even cooked it, and you've got I it. Know. I know. Well, I, I didn't eat it when you at done. the counter. Magic. Right. Thank you, Shanti. She looked. Yeah, Shanti's amazing. Thank you for Shanti. Yeah, her team. Uh, what did you put in there, Chef? Okay, so this is cilantro. That was cilantro stem, and if you have the roots. So sometimes when you buy herbs, they have the roots, but cilantro particularly, wow. you can always use the root because it's quite pungent. I did not know that. Is this spoon or fork? I got spoon, I see spoon. fork. You could spoon, yeah. spoon, fork. It's really? entirely up to you. Oh, it smells so but, good. But for me, like, curries do get better the next day, but it's one of those things, um, whether it's summer, spring, autumn, winter, they always work well. They're always better the next day, right? Yeah. yeah. Really All right, so these are the spices. Let's play a game. Name oh. that spice. Okay, let's see. Uh, coriander? No? Yes, oh, coriander seed. Oh, 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 God, you win a prize. Good That's snipper. The game we did. Okay, wait. Yeah. Cumin. Cumin, oh, got it. She's amazing. Okay, um, okay, um, <laughs> fennel seeds. Yes, okay. uh, fennel's one of my favorite. Um, okay, okay. Is this... Don't curry. put your finger it's in its hot. It's curry. C curry. This no. is cayenne. Cay cayenne. Cayenne. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, we're not going to put all that in, though. Yeah, okay, what are these little baby seeds? Because I don't know what these are. Mustard, mustard seeds. Mustard seeds. Okay. Thank you, Mark. I just Mark. guessed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you won. Oh, my God, you won a car. <laughs> I won a car. Hopefully, I want to taste. Okay. <laughs> this is so good, and it's so mm -hmm. healthy. And this is... Okay, so now this healthy. is the difference mm -hmm. between buying a curry paste or a powder mm -hmm. is you're really not going to smell. But, Chef, where's the curry? But that is the curry. Oh, that is but the curry. But now we build upon that with our oh. vegetables. So, and you know me, I'm into health and nutrition. Right. So, like, we've added the ginger. This is good for your intestine. Right. We had the carrots. That's good for your, your eyes. eyes. Yes. We had the celery. That's good for your bones. See? We had the that, I'm confused. What? Can I ask a question? Of course. I thought curry was a spice of its own. Yeah, I did too. No, I curry is a blend of a whole lot of different spices. It is? Oh, my, you buy it in a jar. It says curry. Well, you oh know, evidently, God, you can make so your, evidently, you can make your own. Better. But where do you think curry comes from? There's like a big curry tree? Well, actually, there is. The plant. There You're is. Right. There is a curry leaf tree. Yeah, I thought there you so. Go. But the curry spice itself is a blend of a whole lot of different spices. And it could be garam masala, which is just mixed spice, but then mustard seeds, yeah. What are you putting in now, Chef? You've well, it's like powerful. ketchup, right? There's no such thing as a tree. Like, ketchup's a whole blend yeah. of different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. But there's different kinds of curry, right? There's like Absolutely. red curry and yeah. Yeah. mild, hot, oh, spicy. Sure. So it's mixed See? Ways, right? I'm on board. Mustard seed, by the way. Mustard oh, thank seed. You. Absolutely. I knew that. So it's this rating the tomatoes. Tomatoes are good for us. They're a great source of lycopene that's lycopene, good for the heart. Yeah. Okay, so tomato puree in there. So this, now we're building upon the flavors, but the thing that I'm a big believer in when it comes to foods like this is not to cook the food so much. You don't want to boil and cook away all the photos. You're <laughs> right. such a great cleaner, Kristen. You should oh, come back. Well, cooking, yeah. we got to keep the kitchen you, clean. No, when that's not true. That's so not Stop true. Stop it, Mark. <laughs> I don't want to hear from you. a mess out of his kitchen. All right, kitchen. so before oh, I scare everyone, mm. this is coconut wow. milk, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks amazing. Remember 10, 15 years ago, everyone was going, oh my God, you can't have coconut oh. cream. It's the greatest form of saturated fat. It's going to kill yes. you and give you cancer and everything. But now it's palm oil, isn't it, that you have to stay away from? Well, that because it's high saturated <laughs> fat. But you remember, this, the, the coconut's so good for you. Mm -hmm. But the reason it's so bad for you then was because of another farmer said you shouldn't do that. So there's all this propaganda. So right. Benetti was, was oh. basically like canola farmers saying, oh, you shouldn't That's do that. That's coconut milk or coconut cream? That was coconut milk. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then if you wanted to make it even more lower fat, you could actually use evaporated milk and put coconut essence in it. Mm. So it gives that coconutty flavor and reduce the fat content even more. But I believe fat's good for us, a small oh, amount. Now, how mm -hmm. long do you cook the veggies for? Because I know you're not a big proponent of cooking to mm. death the vegetables. No, I would say maybe 20, bring that to the boil and cook for 20, 15, 20 minutes, okay? okay? All right. I have a question just about doing that real quick. Yep. Because I like the carrots, but I don't like them when they're too firm. And I'm concerned that when I put them in with other vegetables, I'll overcook the other vegetables to try to get the carrots tender. Well, and, and you've got to be careful. Sometimes I like to cook them separately, but you're right on one point. So when you uh, have a raw carrot, you add just a little bit of heat to it. You notice it goes really bright orange for a moment, yeah. and then it starts to tearing. So that's the phyto phytochemicals coming out. So your food is so much better. So start counting the amount of colors and the brightness of your food oh. versus the calories. That's right, Mark. Start oh. it. And that's why, that's why we add spinach. Yeah. Last. Now you put garbanzo beans in there, which is so good for you as well. Great source of protein. Protein. And these things are going to fill you up and make you feel sustained, mm -hmm. you know. So you're going to get these good, the benefits of the protein. And that's why we made this, you know, I added these. You could add brown rice. You could add quinoa. If you wanted to add meat, totally go for it. But I want to put shrimp in there. You want to? Well, totally. Coconut. Uh, before you do.